Hello, welcome to RS Gaming Videos. This is a Minecraft mod showcase video. I haven't done one for a while, but um, I'm going to go quickly into this and get going. So this is the ICBM mod, which stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. Uh, it's made by Calclavid, Cal, Calclavia, something like that. Um, and you can see I've sort of set up quite a bit of stuff. Um, obviously I'm in creative because it will take me forever to do this stuff otherwise. Um, now this this mod actually adds quite a lot of stuff to the game. So I'm going to start with the grenades, which is conventional grenades, shrapnel grenades, uh, incendiary grenades, and chemical grenades. So I'm going to head over here to test them. Actually no, there's, there's plenty of pigs here. That's a good place to test. Um, so a standard grenade. Right click, throw it. It has a TNT sound effect and it blows up. That's pretty simple. Um, now incendiary grenades, I'm sure you can guess. You throw it and uh, it's next. Oh, what? oh no, sorry, that's shrapnel grenade. No, that's shrapnel. I'll do that again. It doesn't seem to... I don't know if it only hurts players. I'm in creative, so I can't tell, but it doesn't seem to hurt mobs. I have tried that already. Um, incendiary grenade. Now, hopefully that's going to do something pretty specific. There we go. Whoa. That was, um... That was more than I ex was expecting. There we go, that was good. Creeper is on fire now, I can hear. Now, the chemical grenade. This one's a little bit different in that when I throw it, instead of creating a large explosion, it releases poisonous gas, or you've kind of got to imagine that. But it's um it's poisoned these these mobs. I was hoping the skeleton might get hit by but it hasn't. Um, and there is an antidote uh, which will save you, but obviously these pigs haven't got that. Um, so those are the grenades. That's it for the grenades. So I'm going to put those away. And I'm going to get on to the missiles, I guess. So as you can see here, I've got three missile silo sort of uh, launch pads set up, uh, and these are the uh, tier one, tier two, and tier three, and they are colour coded so it's green, red, and blue for you know all three. Um, so for each one, you have a control panel, you have a, a launch platform, which is like the launch pad, and you have a launcher support frame. So um, these the control panel allows you to set where you would like to set off the rocket where you would like it to land the launch pad is where you put the missile and the support frame behind it is to that's optional you don't actually need the support frame but it gives you far better accuracy uh, when your missile launches by doing so so I've got over here a load of missiles. These are one of every type of missile. So I'm going to go ahead and get a conventional missile. Now you notice I've got this um, load of generators set up and those are charging battery boxes and the reason for that is because these, all these rockets need to charge up with power first before they can be launched and I didn't particularly want to have to wait for it to charge up every five minutes. It takes quite a while to charge up unless you have a lot of generators like that. So those are just cold generators. So I've set up the coordinates for over there somewhere, um, and I'm going to put this conventional missile in there. So you see, oh, target too close. Okay, well that's a good, um, good chance to change, uh, change the um, coordinates. So if I press F3, it will get me my coordinates. So I want about. 0, 270 and that should be far enough away if I just 
quickly get back. Oh, that's close enough. Okay, ready to launch. So I've got my rocket there. You notice if I look away from the rocket, it disappears from the corner of the screen. That's because it acts like a mob. Um, I believe. So that'll be nice if that's fixed in future. But um, it's alright for the moment. So when I'm ready to launch, I'm going to flick this lever to provide a redstone current to the control panel. And it launches off up there. You can't really see it because it's night. Oh, yeah, you can just about see it. And that's going to come down on roughly on the coordinates that I set. And provide a reasonable explosion. And that's, you know, that's that's the hole it's done. Considerably bigger than a creeper. Um, I should also explain there is a difference between the three tiers of control, uh, launch pad even. Um, the difference is, if you notice, uh, the launcher control panel for tier 1 has, even with this added support frame, it's got an inaccuracy of 15 blocks. Now, this uh, tier 2, the red one, has an inaccuracy of 7 blocks. And also it gives you uh, a height, so you can set it so it detonates in mid-air, which is, you know, I don't know why you would need that, but oh well. Um, and this is the, the tier 3, which gives you all the stuff above. It has perfect, um, it's, you know, exactly on, with the support frame, it's exactly on the, the coordinate that you set it to and it's got uh, a frequency so that you can control it remotely with a remote control so I'm going to have a go at an incendiary missile so this is also charged up so I need to put the missile in the missile silo and uh, ah target too close I've done that again I don't know if it's reset its um, thing, because I did set it properly before. I think it might just be because I've, um, what's it, 380, wasn't it? Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, that is very close. Oh dear. Um, whoops. No, don't burn my chest, don't burn my chest. It's killing that skeleton somewhere over there. Whoops. Um, I admit that didn't go quite according to plan. Okay, so um, let's just ignore that for the moment. Place that. Uh, now let's let's have a run out of that one. EMP missile. So I'll do this one again. I'm gonna change the coordinates though. Let's say uh, 480. That's 100 blocks that way. I think. Let's just check. I should be about 300. Oh, so I was right when I put 300. Oh dear. Lucky I didn't use a nu nuclear one then. So, when I'm ready, redstone current. And there we go, that's launched off. What was this one again? MP, M EMP, uh, EMP, wasn't it? Uh, I think that was sort of an electrical thing, but it didn't hit anything, it didn't hit any mobs. Okay, well, let's move on, because we don't want to be here all day. Let's go back and let's do chemical, well we've seen chemical grenades, so we kind of know what they are. Shrapnel missiles, we know what they are. Contagious missile, missile I don't know what they are. But let's go fragmentation missile, they sound interesting. 
Again, this should have charged up in that time because I've set up all those generators. This just look weird. It's like a bit, a bit like a test certificate. Get out of the way. So they do go quite high. I don't know if they go right up to the sky limit, but they do go certainly very high. Wow. That was quite a big explosion. Uh, oh, there we go. Bit of a wild hole there. That's done that's done by far the most damage so far. And it's it's done more random damage rather than just a completely circular hole in the world. Um, all the fire's gone, so the fire doesn't last that long. But I suppose if you fired it into a forest, conflagration missile. Let's have to give that one a go. Um, so that's all set up. Head quickly over here. Yeah, so all the way up there, you can see it from quite far away, which is good. I suppose you need to because it's always so far away. Uh, whoa! Um. Um. Wow. Um. I wasn't expecting that. It hasn't even loaded it. Go on, load it, load it. Go on. Wow, that was um unexpected, but I think this area that I was going to test the rest of them on is kind of out of use now. Uh I'm going to put the coordinates to over here. Um 250, 40. 40, 250 even. Don't want to get it the other way around. It'll go over into the sea somewhere. Um, got quite a nice base up here actually. Quite a nice seed. I might find the seed and put it in the description because it's quite a nice world. Um, what was it? I need to change that, don't I? 40, 350. Now, let's go for an endothermic missile. I, I should probably have worked out what order these should go in, in terms of power, so that I didn't I put the most powerful one first. Luckily I didn't, but... Oh. Well, that hasn't done much, because... Uh, Ooh. Hasn't done much because it landed in the sea. I think it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be 250, isn't it? Oh, it's gone. Okay, let's do 250 on that one again. Because that one looked like it might be quite interesting. Um. I need again. Endothermic missiles. missiles. Um. There we go. Let's try this again. I don't like to think what this is doing to the environment, but oh well. <laughs> 